What's going on today, guys? Let's get a look at the newest release from Jack Wolf Knives. This beauty is sporting bazooka pink camo carbon. Although if I had to say, I think it's more like a plum purple. It's like a real light purple, in my opinion. This is a doctor's pattern, so they're calling it the Dr. Feel Good. Check out the artwork on this. Doctor's Pattern, Dr. Feel Good. There was a song by Motley Crue. <laughs> you get it? Uh, I love the marketing on that. So, anyway, so what is a doctor's pattern normally consist of? Usually nice and slim, very straight knife, like you're holding on to a stick. They feel natural in all grips. And a doctor's patterns traditionally are very slim. They have a flat back. They have a spear point blade. And they have another layer with a spatula. So they were intended to be carried by doctors making house calls and used as like the Swiss Army knife for the doctor. So the spear point blade could be used you know, for EDC tasks, but also to cut pills in half. Uh, the spatula could be used to mix up compounds or solves. And the flat back that is tradition on a doctor's knife could be used to crush pills. So that is the history as I understand it on the doctor's knife. And of course, Ben Belkin had to put his thumbprint on there. And I'm thankful that he did because this sheep's foot blade paired up with this doctor pattern is visually striking and works incredibly well. I love the slender straight nature of this. And again, if you know me, you know I'm gonna talk about this little bit of rake here. So you can see this is not a straight line this straight line would continue up here. So this just puts that tip at a position that it just wants to do detailed, aggressive cutting. Thin hollow grind here, just like you would expect. S90V, you're seeing it right there. And just incredible fit and finish. I love the long pull that he put on this one. I love the triple fluted bolster there. And then, of course, your signature walk and talk. Dr. Feel Good, indeed. <laughs> I love this thing. Check out the sledge. I don't know why. I just, I really like this portion of the blade right here. How this rolls in and then rolls down that corner terminates before the tip so we can keep you know not that it's a thick tip but it doesn't get super paper thin behind that tip i don't know i like this portion these angles here and uh it's just an incredible edc piece i've been carrying it it's gonna be really hard to kick out of my pocket if you guys know one of my favorite knives i don't have it with me right now but uh is my Tom's Choice Barlow, that's a sheep's foot blade. So this pattern uh, is, you know, a little slimmer than that GEC Tom's Choice, um, but it works, it works very well. Feels great in the hand. It's just so striking of a knife, especially with them putting this sheep's foot blade in here. You have the straight angles here, straight angle here for the doctor's knife, and then you have your angle that just comes down there for this wicked, wicked sheep's foot blade. And then the long pull to carry on your eye to all these straight lines here. And then you have a little bit of organic where it comes for this around the bolster area. And then a little bit of organic shapes right here on that swedge. So I just think those organics and the hard cut straight, and then you have your straight cuts here. It's just a very visually appealing knife to me. And I also love how 
this is more like a pinched bolster here. Right? And then uh, Ben had to work this out in the prototype, but the corners, because of the pinched bolsters and the way that this was flat, they were a little sharp on the edge. So he had the uh, factory knock those edges down. And that's, you know, before they've been blasted. So everything's nice and beautifully fit and finished. Look how all this terminates the spring. Blade centered. They're premium knives. Again, these are coming in at $300. Uh, only available in carbon fibers. So the options are a White Storm fat carbon. You have a lemon. Well, the White Storm is like a white. Uh, the Lemon Cello, which is like a yellow camel carbon. You have a dark matter blue fat carbon. This one is bazooka pink, like we had mentioned in the beginning. And uh, bazooka pink pink camo carbon that's a mouthful bazooka pink camel carbon i guess it's not that hard and then uh lava flow red fat carbon all winners no micarta options just like i had mentioned on the big bro that was the last time they were doing was it the big bro oh i can't remember now anyways micarta it will be a thing of the past i'm really glad that i was able to get these in uh micarta here i do love micarta it's a natural material i also love these camo carbons and fat carbons and uh, also they had said that they might start uh experimenting with some other handles so i don't know what that means any more than you do but i assume maybe we'll see some other camo fat carbons maybe some other suppliers and uh just gonna keep switching it up check out this triple Fluting on the bolster there. A coarse flush in all three positions. I feel like I have to make these videos for someone who just stumbled upon this. Maybe they're thinking about getting the Dr. Feelgood. And I have to mention that you guys who pay attention and know what's going on with Jack Wolf Knives know that all of this, sadly, but not sadly, is just to be expected. It's almost like Jack Wolf Knives has set the standards so high for themselves that you are absolutely expected to have perfection. And uh, it's almost like they don't even get a pat on the back for every single knife that goes out the door. But uh, I never mean it in that way. It's just, yep, it's Jack Wolf. It's going to be perfect. <laughs> I, I know that sounds a little fanboy, but I promise you, if you ever get to handle one, anyone, any random one from their first editions to their latest release, you're going to get absolute perfection. So uh, I have extreme confidence in just saying that. It's just amazing how consistent they have been. And I love it. I'm here for it. I love how they're doing different patterns. What do you guys think about this thing? It feels great in the hand. Feels great in all positions. An excellent companion EDC. You can obviously carry it on your own, but to pair it up, most of us are knife collectors here, right? So we can show other stuff. So uh, this is just what I had in my pocket today. I have this Maximet Para 2. And uh, to me, a perfect pair right here. Um, Let's just say I had something like this, just because I have it on the bench next to me. That's my D2 military. Come on, it goes with everything. Ridiculous. What's this we have here? Vosteed Gator. I should have a review up on this one. It, it just pairs up so well with everything else that, uh, it's really hard to uh, not recommend. Just all around. Excellent EDC. Excellent fit and finish. Top tier walk and talk. I'd say the pull is pretty strong on this guy. I'd say seven. 
Let's feel it. Yeah, it feels like a seven to pull it. Very pinchable. Obviously, you don't need to use this long nail nick. Very pinchable. I'd say that's about a seven. And to get it from the half stop to the open position, maybe about a 7.5. Lots of snap on this guy. Incredible walk and talk. Again, the pull is fine. You want it strong like that. I promise you, because it gives you a lot of confidence in using this thing. It's not going to get stuck in some cheese. And when you go to pull your hand up, it's going to stay stuck in the cheese. And now your knife folded to your half stop. You know, and we've all been there. You know, we're hard using our knives. We've got our pepperoni stick, our cheese and our crackers, you know, and then your slip joint fails on you and just, you know, you got to go to the hospital. But <laughs> anyways, beautiful take. Let's get a look at the artwork and the packaging. Again, your doctor feel good. A little bit of play on words with the Motley Crue song, the doctor's pattern. I just love how striking this thing looks. And then it, the form and function are just matched up perfectly here. I love it. So you get your collector's bottle cap, pog. With that artwork on there, we get a gray microfiber. and your sticker and of course with your jack wolf knives you get your pocket slip a very high quality pocket slip this is tough to get out of here over that lip of that tube let's get in there there you go and then you get your little foam thing let's put this here so we can see that artwork and you get your nice slip Beautiful slip. And again, just as a patina update, I like to do these. I've been carrying this same one from the original Jack Wolf knife I got so from the K9. So if anybody's curious, let's do uh, some co size comparisons just so you know what you're looking at versus uh, the other releases. And then we'll get out of here. I absolutely am so glad that Jack Wolf Knives is making these modern interpretations of these traditional patterns. The doctor's knife was something that I don't think many people, I don't know, it, to me it doesn't seem like it's the most popular traditional pattern. I know there's probably doctor knives pattern collectors, but certainly wasn't me, you know. That's why it's so cool to see them bringing out some of these more traditional patterns that I never thought that I would have been head over heels about. And then I am. <laughs> Something like this vampire. I would have never thought that worked so good in your hands. But it does. Just like this doctor's knife. So there it is next to the vampire. If you're looking for another... One cliff. Man, I forget what this one's called. I called it the Viper in my collection video. I know it's not the Viper. I think it's called the Venom. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Love this thing. Let's get a look at it. I love the traditional patterns, but also one of my favorites is the Cyborg Jack, which is Ben Belkin's original pattern. It'd be fun to see another original pattern from him, something that just goes way outside the lines of anything that's been traditional. And then you feel how well it works in the hand. The blade shape, the pinchability. Just an absolute home run. They all are. It's it's fun. Love this time of the month. Alrighty. That is the Dr. Feel Good Doctor's Pattern Take. I love the fingerprint that he put on it. 
by taking this traditional doctor's pattern, mostly traditional handle here, making it a one layer knife, kept the flat back here, and then put, instead of a spear point blade, put this sheep's foot blade in here. So striking, love it. And that triple fluting, more of that please. I don't know if it fits so well because it's this slender handle here, but it's uh, really stunning. And a little longer bolster than say like a regular bolster, but not quite long enough to be like a Barlow style. So uh, just something cool. I mean, it's just never been done. That's why I say the frame's mostly traditional, except for you have a little longer bolster here. And then putting this sheep's foot instead of the spear. It's just gorgeous. Well done. Slow clap. Fit and finish. Incredible. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. I hope you have an awesome day. See ya.